Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. And today we will be doing the unboxing, setup, and direct comparison of the brand new Gold Shell KD Box Pro. Now we will be doing the direct comparison versus the original Gold Shell KD Box. So you may be wondering, what are the key differences from the original KD Box to the KD Pro? So we'll cover everything in today's video, going between the weight differences, we'll take a look at the profitability differences, the power consumption differences, as well as the hash rate differences. Differences. So first we will be doing all of those comparisons and then I'll show you which mining pool I'm using and which wallet I'm using as well and also where you can purchase the Gold Shell KD Box Pro. So when you open up the box over here, pretty much everything is going to look almost the exact same except for you might notice this little antenna and this will be able to give it its ability to connect wirelessly. So this way you don't have to always be connected with your Ethernet cable. So when you take this one out, you can see on the bottom Gold Shell KD Box Pro. And you also do have the wireless adapter right here. Now you do have to plug it in the power, also plug in the ethernet port. So this way you can first get it connected, you know, get it into a, uh, you know, the internet, get it into a pool, things like that. And then through there, through the dashboard, you can switch it to Wi-Fi and you can then unplug the ethernet cable. Now having the two boxes side by side, they are practically identical. Here is the KD box and here is the KD box pro. Now the differences I'll be placing right over here on the sides for your KD box, you'll have 1.6 terahash per second for its hash power. And then for the KD box pro, it is 2.6 terahash. Now when it comes down over into the power consumption, the KD box is 205, so 205 Watts. And then for the KD box pro, it'll be at 230 watts and then when it comes down over into the profitability this is where we it is kind of a unknown for the kd box pro for exact numbers but as of right now the kd box itself for profitability for the right now market is seven dollars and 17 cents per day that is including electricity costs my guess for the kd box pro would be right around nine dollars and fifty cents or maybe ten dollars when it comes down to the end result along with uh, the electricity cost built in. So you might be making about three or $4 more with this box over here versus this one, but that is what we will be testing. Now look at the back of the machine. Here is your power adapter. There is where you put in your ethernet. And then this right here again for the pro, you have your wireless ability. So you do first have to get it plugged in through ethernet, get it into the dashboard. Once it's within the dashboard, then you can actually connect it to Wi-Fi through there. And you can even unplug the ethernet once it is, you know, said and connected. Now let's quickly just take a look at the weight differences, see if there is any difference, you know, with the internals inside. So we are weighing this in ounces. So it's 51.30 ounces. So for the original, it is 51.3. And then when you take a look over at the KD Box Pro, uh, this one's sitting at 50.98. So the Pro is actually just slightly less when it comes down to its weight. So now let's head over into the computer side of things. We'll take a look at where you can purchase the KD Box Pro. We'll also take a look at the profitability and some of the information. So this one's actually just talking about the KD Box because the KD Box Pro is actually not anywhere to be found yet in terms of the, the results. We'll take a look at trading view. So we'll see where uh, Kadena is sitting at, which is $6.18. And then I'm gonna show you here the pool that we'll be using, which is F2 Pool. And then besides that, I'm gonna show you the wallet I'm placing it into, which is the Zellcore wallet. Now, there is many different markets that you can put it into. You can put it into, you know, Gate.io, you can put it in KuCoin, you can put it in Hotbit, you can put it in different areas, uh, but I'm going to put it into Zellcore. So here is the location you can purchase. I'll be placing this link below the video inside the description. That'll take you directly into the KD Box Pro, but I'll also have a secondary link down there, which is for all of the available miners. So this way, if you want to take a look at everything that ASICMarketplace.com has to offer, uh, everything is right here. So here's the original Gold Shell KD Box. 4,760 and then the pro is 6,840. Now, again, you are taking a look at a pretty big jump, you know, going from that 1.6 tera hash to the 2.6. So, here are some of the main details for the Gold Shell KD Box Pro 2.6 tera hash of Kadena algorithm for the hashing power, and then it's using the power consumption of 230 watts, everything that we just got done talking about, you know, earlier in the video. So, this is where you can purchase it, and again, you also have available miners to take a look at everything everything. Now, when you take a look at ASIC Miner Value, ASIC Miner Value does a really good job at putting in the profitability in, in terms of what is it actually pulling in for the entire day, uh, including 
the electricity cost it would take and then showing the profit at the end of the day. Uh, when you scroll on down, you can actually change your preferences. So if your electricity cost is above or below this, you can actually change it. Uh, here's all of the uh, uh, credible locations you can purchase. And you can see one of them is sitting right here, asicmarketplace.com. And that's the one that I always like to suggest people to go to if you're not available to purchase it at goldshell.com website. So here is the profitability for the KD box. As we talked about from before, it's $7.15 with today's market. Now I believe the pro may pull in about $9.50 maybe $10 and that's being a conservative number because I don't really know, but we will be coming back to this in about three days just to see exactly how it has been performing. Uh, here is tradingview.com, the website. This is where, you know, Kadena is sitting at right now, which is $6 and 18 cents. You can see this is a perfect level to get in. It's down at its fib level. I placed in this line all the way back on November 6th of last year in 2021. Uh, so it's sitting in this spot perfect place to go. Uh, it can easily jump up into $7.12, you know, with a blink of an eye. And then you have the supported levels above, you know, around $12 and $14. It'd be pretty nice if we can go back up to that $25 range, but these will be also, again, some very good conservative numbers. So everything that you see in terms of the profitability will easily double as long as you hold on to all of your coin. Uh, so this way you can hold on to it when it goes back up to $12 and $14 instead of doing anything with it at $6. So the mining pool that we will be using will be F2 pool. And so up here, even though you may not see Kadena, there is a way you are able to do it. You know, you got your Bitcoin, Litecoin, CKB, everything else. You want to go into this login free account and I'll go more in depth in this and I'll show you step by step. But you just want to basically put in the Kadena wallet address that you will be mining into. Uh, and you'd actually be able to see that I've been doing it from before. I have all of my miners unplugged currently because I just currently got solar. And so I want to show exactly what a normal household would be with solar. But you can see that I've mined a total of 271 KDA uh, within you know, just F2 pool. That doesn't include the other mining pools that I've had it in. So let's move on back and let's actually get this thing connected. Uh, and then I'll show you all of those steps. So now that I have the miner plugged in with its power source as well as ethernet, now the next step that you wanna do is head over and you want to find that miner so you can go into its dashboard to put in the mining pool information. So I use a program that is called Advanced IP Scanner. Uh, I know it's here on Windows, don't know if it's on Mac, but basically you just wanna hit on that IP so it's gonna find the IP address that you are currently connected to, and then you just hit on Scan. And then hopefully your miner is also connected to the exact same, you know, uh, internet connection as well. So once you hit on that search button, what you will find on the left hand side underneath status is you see these little monitors. Now the one you'll be looking for is one that is blue with a arrow on the left hand side. So you can see over here, uh, there's quite a few different miners. All of these right up over here are over in a mining facility. Uh, and then I also have, uh, you know, some other ones sitting down over here. But basically, uh, what you're looking for is something that looks like this number, uh, or maybe, you know, this number. And they can also look like this right away. So I already know for a fact, because I have all of my other miners unplugged, that this is the brand new KD Box Pro. So I'm just gonna click on it. And then click it again and this is where i like to name it the kd box pro so i know exactly which this one is uh, because it's going to help you out especially if you have multiple miners now that you have it all named out you click on this little arrow and then you double click on this HTTP, and this will take you over into its dashboard. Now, for the first time, it may be in a different language for you. You just wanna to go to the very top right-hand side, click it over into English if you speak English. Now, the nice thing that you can see right here is you can see the model name. So you know for a fact that you click the correct one, Gold Shell KD Box Pro, Gold Shell KD Box Pro. Now, right above that is this unlock button. This is a way that you're able to unlock the dashboard so you can make changes. So this way you can head over into Miner and System, and then you can add Add in your pool information. So we're going to go to unlock the password, or I should say the username is always admin. The password right away initially is one through nine. So now that you have it all unlocked, you can head over into Miner. And this right here just has a random pool setting. This is basically nothing. You can see it's grayed out, which means that it is currently not connected to a pool. So all you would have to do here is you can hit on remove. 
Uh, and then what you're going to want to do is you can hit on the add button. So add originally, you know, from Gold Shell, they always put in different pools you can use. Uh, there's Pool Mars, F2 Pool, as well as DX Pool. So we're going to go with F2 Pool, and I'm going to see if this is all done and correct when it comes down to the URL. And then now here for the miner name, this is where you want to put in your wallet address inside of there, and then put like zero uh, or 0 .001, 0 .002, 0 .003, whatever three, whatever it may be on, in terms of how many miners you have. So this will be the wallet that I'll be using. So this is the Kadena one. This has the K in front and I want to receive. So here's my account information. Basically, you just click this to copy it. And then now you just head right back over into uh, the, the dashboard. You will be putting in your wallet address. And then from here, I put in point zero zero four it just kind of depends on how many you know kadena miners you have if it's your first one you can just put 0 0.001 and then this is where you can put in a password and this is usually the password i use for my mining pool now that you have that all plugged in you hit on apply and then now you just wait for this one to turn green which means that it is getting connected and it is also connected as well uh, and then from over here you can hit on your settings button so for the settings button this is where you can turn on your wi-fi settings so as i mentioned from before you have to plug in ethernet first to find it put it into the dashboard now from here you can get it connected to whatever wi-fi you would like to use so i'm just going to choose the one that i always love to use here at the house. Now, once you put in the password, the Wi-Fi that you have used, it will now say connected. So from here, you would be able to unplug the Ethernet and it will stay connected. And I've noticed between Wi-Fi and Ethernet, the results have pretty much been the exact same. As long as you have a good Wi-Fi connection uh, from proximity, you know, of where the miner and your box is. So I'd probably state that if your miner will be far away from your main Internet source, keep it plugged in through Ethernet. So now that you're plugged in through the Wi-Fi settings, we went through the miner, we put in the pool information. This is where you can head over into home. So as you see the hash power goes up, you also see your fans are running, everything should be connected, especially uh, you know since you can see some numbers here. You can hit refresh on the website if you want to, but after a few minutes, you'll see it actually going up. Uh, there is a slight little sliver of a blue line sitting over here, letting you know that it is you know showing off the chart information. Uh, here is also more information on the miner itself between the hash rate, Here's your temperature uh, and things like that. So now all we're going to do is head over back into F2 pool. We're going to go on the very top right hand side, click on that log, uh, log free account. Now with this one, all you'd have to put in is going to be that wallet address that you inputted. And so once you put in the wallet address, just a simple, you know, copy and paste, hit on go. Now it's going to show you that you should have something connected. Uh, and you can see right here already one online. Uh, it's going up right here inside of the hash rate power. You can see that we have, remember we called it 004. So you can see here that in fact, uh, the one that we just got on connecting is right there. Here's all the information. You can take a look at everything. It's now sitting on F2 pool. And then you can take a look at your payouts to see what you have paid out. So for the purpose of this video, and along with the purpose that I have, you know, brand new solar panels, I wanna, you know, see exactly how it's performing without having everything plugged in. Uh, we will be able to see exactly what this one miner will do. We don't have the other ones plugged in, so we're not getting data from the others. And we're only going to see how one KD Box Pro performs. So here's the workers. Uh, and pretty much this is everything that you are kind of looking for. We're already seeing a little bit of estimated revenue coming on in. So we'll take a look at this back in about three days to get good, you know, two, three full days worth of, of mining to see exactly what the numbers are. Uh, the first day is usually always less than all the rest. So we've talked about every single thing. We've unboxed it. We did the comparison. I showed you where you can purchase it. Uh, we also took a look at the profitability. My guess is maybe about $10 for this one per day, along with the electricity cost built in. Uh, we took a look at the you know current price of Kadena sitting at $6.16. I showed you which pool it went into. And then also too, uh, it'll be going into my Zellcore wallet account sitting right here. Uh, and the nice thing is that there's been no transactions coming in. So everything that we see pop on in here uh, will be again from this one KD Box Pro. Hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then you'll like the other video. And I'll see you guys later.